Um, so let's look at um, how we go about uh, coming up with a reduction formula uh, that involves uh, cos. Okay, that involves cosine. All right, so uh, I'm going to express this in the form of like the integral of uh, cosine n minus 1 of x uh, cosine of x dx. Okay, so I'm going to integrate by parts where I'm going to set my u to be equals to cosine of n minus 1 of x then my du be equals to cosine of x not really du sorry dv so meaning our du will be equals to n minus 1 then the the derivative of that one is minus sine minus sine of x okay minus sine of x then I want to have a cosine n minus 2 of x there the, the the power reduces by 1 so our v will be equals to um, sine okay so when you differentiate sine you get cosine okay so here we are just multiplying the u by the v okay meaning we are going to have a uh, sine x uh, by cosine n minus 1 of x okay uh, we say minus so here, remember to say we are multiplying the, by the integral of uh, du, v du. We say v by du. Okay, but when you look at this, we have a negative here, and we have a negative outside of which that's that, that's going to become a positive. Okay, then open bracket, n minus 1. Just bring that coefficient outside. So I have a sign here and I have a sign here. I'll make this as a what? Sine squared of x uh, cosine n minus 2 of x dx okay so this becomes a sine of x a cosine n minus 1 of x okay uh, plus n minus 1 integral of I'm going to express this in terms of um, in terms of uh, the identity that has to do with cosine okay so this two, this is simply equals to 1 minus uh, cosine squared of x then open bracket cosine n minus 2 of x dx okay so now we can say that is uh, equals to um, sine sine x cosine n minus 1 of x plus uh, n minus 1 integral of we distribute we're going to have a uh, cosine n minus 2 of x then minus so we have a 2 here positive then negative that becomes a 0 so we have minus uh, cos n of x of course dx there so uh, what are we able to do um, we can write this into separate integrals so meaning I'm talking about the integral of cosine of n of x dx being equals to sine of x cos n minus 1 x plus uh, n minus 1 then the integral of cos n minus 2 of x uh, dx minus n minus 1 integral of cos n x dx okay so um, here we can correct the like terms because this part is alike with that one okay so we can re relate it as um, a integral of cos n there x dx plus um, n minus 1 integral of cos n cos n x cos the power n of x dx being equals to sine of x cosine of uh, I mean n minus 1 of x then we have plus n minus 1 there then the integral of uh, cosine of n minus 2 x there dx so here we can say we can factor out that we are going to remain with um, the integral of uh, cosine cosine n of x dx open bracket 1 minus in fact 1 plus n minus 1 of which that's just going to be n because 1 minus 1 that would be a 0 so we just have n there so just place it here that will be equals to whatever that you have there okay 
so I can just bring this down there that's what we have okay so we can get rid of this So moving this, um, moving this up. So remember to say we're just dividing everything by one. I mean by n. Sorry. So we divide by n here. Divide by n, and uh, we are going to get rid of that n there because we divided both sides by by n. And uh, this uh, is simply how we come up with um, the reduction formula that requires. Um, I mean that has to do with uh, a function. Um, a trig function cosine to the power n of x uh, dx. Thank you very much for watching.